Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Jack Daw and this is the next episode of Two Point Hospital. So where we left the last episode is we managed to finally finish Smogly. I'll be very honest, it wasn't my favourite hospital in the world, so I'm quite pleased we've moved away from it. So now we are moving on to Meltdown, which is an abandoned hospital near the power plant. What could possibly go wrong? So, that um, doesn't look great. So the Meltdown's power plant seems to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Bungle Technologies, owner of the power plant, have put us a press release saying everything is fine, no need to panic. The very same day, they've evacuated the nearby hospital. Apparently an experiment in the research department went awry. Mayor Winsock have asked us if we could take over. We found some intriguing research papers scattered around. Maybe we should continue their work. So it looks like a place needs a bit of a tidy up first. Also, rumour has it there's some very strange patients showing up in the local area. Mm. Good luck. Yeah, so this is what you, you don't say. That that's quite a bit of litter on the floor. See, I like the fact on this hospital though that there's quite a number of different buildings that are already pre-made. We know exactly what they look like, so we can kind of plan ahead. So the helicopter pad near the centre, so that's fine. So what could, that could be an entrance maybe up this side. Do you think they could come in from over there? Um, that doesn't seem to have any entrances over at plot six. So that makes it a bit easier to control. But what I think we need to do is let's sell these first of all, just to make a little bit of money. And who have we got? Who could we hire? So you're unhygienic, but you are charming. Okay. You're tired easily and funny, um, and you are a fast learner. Okay, I mean, you have got the ghost capture skill, but I'm hoping we're not going to see any ghosts this time round. Um, I'm kind of thinking Herman might be our number one guy, but I kind of think we should really look for a bit of maintenance. Well, and also the ghost capture would be very handy. Um, it's a difficult one, isn't it? You know what? Let's get rid of those two. We're, we're going to keep Herman on the cards just in case. But we'll wait to see if we get any of the better applicants. I think that's going to be the thing. Right, now what we want to do. Let's, should we get a nice big reception in the centre? Um, because how are we going to plan this out? Are we going to go treatment going up to the top? Coming down maybe? Or diagnostics going down? I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. We've got quite a bit of space here for our GPs. So... And then we can have a nice flow going through the hospital, centred around the helipad. I think that will work quite well. So, and then further on could be research. So, right, let me go away. I'm going to get this all designed and I'll bring you back once it's all done. So, there we go. I think that works quite well. So what I did in the end is I put a couple of different GP offices on the left-hand side, as you can see. Um, I put a... Like the reception That's in the top right, like a little nook in there. And we've got a nice little staff room and toilets near the bottom. The janitor really needs to... We, we hired Herman in the end because we, we, we needed Herman. We needed someone. So, but I think this is going to do us the job for the time being. Um, it gives us plenty of room. I have closed three of the GPs as well. And as you can see, I have actually also decorated the rooms quite nicely this time. I'm not kind of just gone all crazy with medicine and things so what do we need this time around so we need a pharmacy for verbal diarrhea okay so i have built the or bought sorry the area on the right it was cheaper than the one on the left and i'm thinking we could flow nicely through um from the gps we've only got the one gp office open at the minute we get a couple of diagnostics rooms on the right so that should be fine um, they might be able to come from the helipad straight up into the hospital or they might even go down So we need to really plan how we want our hospital to flow Through because it's going to make it easier for the patients, isn't it? Right, let's go ahead then and build this pharmacy And there you have it. So again, I've gone for the quite nice decorations I think it is probably costing us a bit more money, but at the same time it's going to do us a bit better that way right we don't want you you are gross you've got high energy so william yeah should we oh but eric you're 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 very expensive though and actually we haven't got much money 
but you are very good. You've got a bit of treatment, a bit of diagnostics, bedside manner. But no, we want to go cheap and cheerful for the time being. Herman, as you can see, you've definitely got your work cut out for you. Uh, well, why are you running? Oh, oh I know, because you've got verbal diarrhea and you're probably going to be sick if you don't run. Well, so anyway, so what are we needing to work on? We do need to generate research points. We need to upgrade five machines. We need to get patients in the shock clinic and we need a DNA lab. Well, we can start the upgrade straight away. That gives Herman something else to do. It takes him away from his day job cleaning up all the rubble. I'm kind of thinking health and safety though, Herman. You should be doing the rubble first. Would you make up for call? Because I don't think we have actually got the shock clinical DNA unlocked at this stage. So we will have to get a research department in. Now, I know normally I say, well, let's just go back to Mitten to look at getting the research done. But in places like this where, well, you need to generate the research points for the stars. And it gives us the unlocks at the same time. Like, you might as well just do something here. I've sped the game up a little bit just so we can actually get a few more patients in and get things moving a bit quicker. As you can see, there's not really much going on with the hospital at this stage. Um, Herman, you need to keep... Is he literally waiting in the room? I think for the patient to finish. Yeah. Well, Herman. Right, go on. Carry on your upgrade then, fella. There is a little bit of a queue, but you can get a couple of bangs into the machine. I think Herman has demonstrated the easiest way to upgrade a machine is by hitting it with a spanner. I wish everything was that simple. Uh, I don't think we've got any dangerous flora in the hospital. Oh, that's our first uncured patient. Great. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thankfully, though, you didn't die. Be grateful. I think they still pay us when things like that happen. Oh, you've just been sick at the bottom as well. Marvellous. Right, so what do we need to get in? Let's get this research going. Because we... Oh, look at it, it looks disgusting. I thought it was pee for a second, but actually on... Well, watching, it's um, it is not pee. It is sick, that's just pretty horrible. Anyway, this room is very expensive. Um, I don't think we should go for the research. Oh, why? Why did we have to have a death this early on? I was, I was hoping we were going to have a year... With no deaths. Just please don't turn into a ghost. Because Herman, you can't deal with ghosts at this stage. I think we're in the clear. And we've got no one who can do research. Not great. Okay, so diagnostics. We do need some more diagnostics machines. Well, let's go for our trusty old friend. Okay, you can wait. We can go for our trusty old friend, uh, General Diagnostics. It has been a staple in our hospitals in the past. So I think it will be very good in this hospital as well. Also, good news is we can upgrade it. So again, let me fire this one in and I'll bring you back once it's built. Okay, and there you go. Again, I'm not decorated this room as much as the last one, but we can get the upgrade going straight away. Now, I do need to remember next time around we bring the upgrades with us when we move the hospital around. Because what we don't want to do is get rid of it, and that's all of that money. What is it, about 30 grand an upgrade? So that's what, 90 we'd lose. But anyway, let's get a new nurse in. Now, we do need a diagnostics in an ideal world. Um, but you know what? Let's wait. We, we've got one. They can probably handle them both for the time being. And we are still looking for a research doctor as well. I think, you know what? Do we need another janitor? Hmm. No, we'll, we'll get rid of it all. We'll just get rid of it all. I think that's fine. I think we are doing absolutely fine. Health Minister, that's not an ideal time. I'd really appreciate it if you don't come in. Just go to the room on your left. Well, actually, don't go in any of them. Because there's sick all over the floor on this side. And the other one, there's rubble everywhere. You know what? Eugene, you've got a short temper. But you are hired. Because we do need that extra nurse. So, I think this is looking rather well. We've hardly got any money. We need to cure 10 patients from Dorothy here. I think that's achievable. 10 patients? Well, it's going to be one just now, as soon as that gets finished. And we've got Misery Guts as well, so they're going to also go to the pharmacy. Now, the good thing is everyone is heading to the one room at the moment, which makes our lives a hell of a lot easier. 
because it's going to make it a lot cheaper because we don't need to buy all these different treatment rooms anyway right oh hello william you have a good old trait there which is a good old ghost capture now i don't want to tempt fate by buying by buying william or getting william let's see who cassandra are you any good no okay william just in just in case we have a ghost just in case William, at least you're on hand. Now, I don't think we will. I'm thinking positive thoughts. But you never know. Oh, hello. Why lightning? Um, I didn't call for that. Oh, hello. And I think... Oh. I, I shouldn't have hired. We shouldn't have hired William. It, we've tempted fate by having a dev. Oh, dear. I'm going to blame the storm. You know what? The storm did that. That wasn't us. It was the storm. Um, and apparently, so Spaniel? Barking? Baked beans? I'm a bit concerned. Oh, I do love baked beans. And the remains of what I believe one calls a street gang fight. Not a pretty sight, wow, let me tell you. Still, all those blue and red lights certainly did give the street a festive look. And I'm happy to say by this morning, most of the teeth had been hosed away. Now, let's okay. play some jolly wake-me-up music. Wow, I'm, I'm glad the teeth are away. Oh, hello. Okay, so you have a short temper. But at the same time, if you're going to be our research person, it doesn't really matter, does it? Right, I think we should go for DNA because it's at the top of the list. That's the only reason. But by getting the DNA, that's going to get a thousand research points. And that'll be that ticked off. And it will get the fourth requirement objective off as well. So that's that done as well. So that will be rather marvellous, I think. Okay. So I did just see we need a ward. So let's, let's throw the ward in now. And then what I can do is, again, I'll bring you back in as soon as it's built. Because, again, it's it's not a big room, is it, really? So let's just get it in and done. There we go. I think that looks all right. It's not that big. I realise we can actually be putting beds next to each other. Why have we not done this before? I guess if you're ever in a hospital, you, you never have beds right next to each other. They've, all, they've got a little bit of privacy, a little bit of a gap. So, but for the opportunity for the space, we should put them together. Right, that was a bit of a... Well, oh, well, there's too much going on. Too much. Right, hold on. We need to hire someone. Thomasina, I think. Uh, you are short-tempered, but you are an entertainer and you're a natural mentor. But hold on, what about Lawrence here? I think Rives is a rom-com, but you are a lot more expensive. Thomasina, you're hired. Congratulations. Come on, join the party. Okay, so staff promotion, fine. And a fracture emergency. Oh, actually, this is an opportunity to make us a bit of money. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause the game. We're going to up... Well, we need to get a loan because we haven't got the money to get the fracture claim. Now we're going to up it to 100% because what they'll do... Hold on, where is it? Why is it not on my list? We've literally just accepted it. But it's not there. Maybe we need to wait until... They've arrived because I definitely can't see them on the list. Hey, well, we'll bump it up by 10% anyway. Right. So everyone who comes in on an emergency will pay no matter what. So what we do is we're going to throw the fracture ward in. And then we will basically mean that we'll bump the price up to 100% and then they will pay for it. Now, again, let me edit this bit out and we'll, we'll come back in once it's built. And there we go. So again, making sure you use the overlapping. As you can see, we've got all the medicine cabinets overlap and also the actual rooms overlap themselves as well. The beds makes good use of space there. Right, there we go. Nurses in as well. Now, let's wait until our first patient arrives and then we need to we'll bump the price up. I think that's going to be 10 less. Yes, there we go. Fracture ward, they're going that way. So let's go into the prices and bump it straight up to 100%. So that's going to make us double the money. So six to 12 grand. Uh, six, in, sorry, 12 instead of six, which, well, how many we got? One, two, three, four. Is that five? That, so that's what, going to be about 60,000? Approximately, instead of 30? 
So actually, you know what? That's not bad going. It will, at least we'll be able to pay the loan back off. What we just took out anyway. Right, another upgrade going as well. So that'll be another machine on its way. That room is a bit bland at the minute. At least it's clean. I don't know what our janitor's doing. Because look at our other place. Look, they need to do something really up there. They, like, they're slacking. But down here, actually, you know what? Oh, actually, oh, hello. You said you were cold. So let's, you know what? To get a couple of radiators in. Uh, oh, no, wrong button. Try again. Right. Nope, nope. There we go. Thank you. Right. Radiator in there. Need one for the ward as well. Can we get a little one first of all in here just to get rid of all the blue? Yes, we can. Right, ward. Where can we put you? There we go. And then a big one for here. Marvellous. Okay, so that is going to be looking a bit warmer for our patients. And you see that? Look, they paid it. Can we pay the loan off yet? Not quite. About five grand off. Well, once that patient's done, we should be able to. There we go. Goodbye, loan. Marvellous seeing you, though. Always like it for the journey. Right, a couple more promotions going on, which we've got to keep our staff happy. Staff happy mean happy patients. And that's one thing we need to always bear in mind with these hospitals. Okay, so we've got people moving in and out. Um, as soon as these last patients are done, what we'll need to do is put the price back down to the standard price. Um, otherwise, people might not pay it for the time being. And that was earn 100,000. I think that's going to be easy. Oh, hello, diagnostics decision. So we need some more diagnostics. So we've got our general diagnostics. Cardio is always our next one to go for. I have seen people just go straight for either cardio and then go for like x-ray or something with a bit more diagnostics power. But I don't know, I kind of like having these ones as well. They might not be serving the best purpose because, well, it, you know, we... If they're going to just get diagnosed, like need to go in here or go to multiple diagnostics places, it probably makes more sense just having the one what they can go to all of it. Like, for example, an x-ray. But I think this is fine. Okay, so we've got we'll put a couple of pictures up on the wall. We'll get the lovely dog in. The dog has to go everywhere. And we'll get them to stare at our gold certificate. You know what? Three star is not too bad for the time being. And look at that. Cured five out of five. And is that 20,000 on top? Yes, it was. So that's another 20,000 on top as well. So let's go and bump the prices back to where they were. So that's all at 10% higher. Just so we, we actually do make people pay. Because we want people not paying. Right, that's three machines done. Two to go. You're the highest level nav drug mixer? Yes, you are. Easy scan. You're on your way up. And the cardiogram or the heart racer, sorry, is also on its way up as well. And we've got more electrical storms on its way. Great. Speaking of which, have we got a fire extinguisher? Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I think it's just under extinguisher, isn't it? Is it under fire? Is it extinguisher? Yeah, there, there it is. I don't like the fact it kicks them out of the room. That's one good thing I like about campus, how you can put more things in the rooms and it doesn't actually impact them at all you know they'll stay where they are so if they're already in the room teaching or being one of the students you're not going to kick everyone out i do like that dynamic okay research is on its way we don't know where our research doctors gone mind and you are starting to get a bit busy gp so you know what oh hello oh you're hungry um can we deal with that yeah, I think we can. Right, let's open up the second GPs just so it eases the load on our first one. And that'll spread that out a little bit more. So that'll be, what, six per each? Yes, there are electrical storms. Yes, it is. Anyway, first year, how do we get on? I'm hoping we got a few. Um, well, three is better than none. We didn't get the no deaths one again, did we? Are we ever going to get the no? Is the no deaths one even possible? I, I don't think we've ever had one hospital where someone's not died. 
Right, well anyway, that's more pharmacy stuff going on. So yeah, I definitely think we're gonna have to upgrade a pharmacy at some point. We're gonna get a health inspector on his way as well. That's fine. You know what, health inspector, just come and visit this room. You know, don't come to the other room, just come to this one. Because if you come over here, it's nice and neat. If you just don't look at the one at the top. Right, as it is getting busy, we are gonna probably have to expand at some point soon. Maybe and buy the bottom left building. That was the natural place i think to go to i don't see why we wouldn't want to go anywhere else to be fair um herman is that how you upgrade things you hit things with a spanner herman is de demonstrating to the world to upgrade something you hit it with a spanner herman that's off to you my friend anyway right um I clicked it though so quickly I didn't even read it myself. I got excited. We just clicked through it. Anyway, right. What's next? Circus instant. Okay, so clown clinic. Right, for just infection. Right, you know what? I think we should do this again. We'll get another loan and we'll do the same as what we did on the last um, incident we had coming in. I, cause I don't think it's going to fit here because if I remember rightly, it's four by four. Um, yeah, no, it's not going to fit. Uh, we haven't got the space down there. Right, so let's get a loan out. Because we've just spent all of our money there. Yeah, can't afford it. Didn't think I could. Right, small loan. We'll sell this random object just to get him gone. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, and let's get the jest infection in. Now, I always like Jest Infection. I think it's actually one of my favorites. Only because I do like the amount of detail which is in there. You know, you've got the cannons, you've got the circus lights. You know, you, how you can, like, guide someone in. Look, so we'll put one there. We'll put one next. Uh, can we fit it in? Yeah, we'll put one there. Um, we'll put a couple to the left. And we'll put a few cannons around it as well. But look, it just is so well thought of. So, that's why I think at this stage of the game, it's my favorite. I don't quite mean what they do to the clown's mind. But anyway, right, we'll get a couple of hay bales just so people can watch the clown suffer, unfortunately. And we need a radiator and we need a fire extinguisher. Where are you? Nope, that was a plant. Yeah, we need a plant, but we need a fire extinguisher. Focus. There he is. Right, pop him in. Job's done. Now, have they arrived yet? Are they coming in by hospital uh, by helicopter? I think normally they arrive by car, don't they, for the just infection? Let's have a look. What's going on around here? So you're getting cured. Oh, there is a cure. I think that's a just infection. I need to start reading these instead of just clicking off them so quickly. Okay, right. They're not coming from down there, so I don't know where they are. But anyway, let's go in just infection up to 100%. Look at that. Is that 18,000? A pop? I don't think that's too shabby, to be fair. Right, here's one. Here they all come. They're just appearing from nowhere, apparently. That's fine. There is six. And we have got a nurse, what we've just pulled out from somewhere else. So that's fine. So look at this. I mean, that is quite mean, what they're doing to the poor clown, isn't it? But, you know what? If it makes them happy, then why are we in their way? How many have we got in the queue anyway? We've got a fair few. One, two, three, four, five, plus the one being treated. Okay. Well, that's fine because, again, it's, what is this one? About 14 grand, roughly, a piece. So, uh, what was that? 18. 18,000 a piece. So, nearly 20 grand. So, that's what, nearly 100,000 we're making off the back of it. Right. We'll let you carry on over there. Research is nearly done. So we're in the 700s now. So that is awesome. Uh, over here, they've got a few more upgrades to do. Herman, he knows what he's doing with that. And then once these are done, I think that's going to be a good place to make the cut for today's episode. Uh, right, we'll, we'll promote you first. So there you go. Congratulations. Because... Down here, look, it's quite a big room down there. So I do feel that's definitely going to be better for treatment down near the bottom left. Um, because you've got a lot... The treatment rooms are always going to be a bit bigger. And there's a lot more space down there. Again, I what about maybe the x-ray? That's quite a big room. Shock clinic. Um, 
you're gonna have to go home because we we haven't got the the shock clinic as of yet we're working on the dna lab not the shock clinic 90 days without death why not you know what just for giggles we'll give it a go i don't see it working but we'll give it a go oh, excuse me where are you going um you you need to come back and do your job okay so there's a bit of a queue going on up here that's fine do we need another janitor you're hangry you're funny and you can do a bit positive and you've got stamina training and for someone who's going to be just picking up loads of rubbish you know what that's good right where's our nurse gone inspection minus 15 xp that's fine shock again you're gonna have to go away we haven't got it yet okay so can we drag a nurse from somewhere please because the clowns have got 10 days um so nurse are we gonna grab some there's there's two right pause again where is the nurse can we grab someone please can we get maybe the one who's got treatment yes you right you in you come and once you get done i think for the time being that's going to be a good place for us to finish on today's episode so on the next episode what we need to work on is we need to finish off the research points yep we go away go we got a few we got a bonus that's good so on the next episode we need to work on getting some more research points we can do a few more upgrades that's fine we need to get the shop clinic in and we need to get the dna clinic in as well so guys i hope you have really enjoyed today's episode and if you have please remember to subscribe and like this video and we will see you on the next one bye for now